guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to Too Blessed. Um, I'm not going to be on camera today because I'm not having a very good day. Just not feeling very well. But um, I've been working on some projects and I came up with an idea that I really wanted to share. So I thought I would go ahead and just film it today. While I'm working on these, it'll kind of save me some time later. <laughs> What I'm working on is I've been making some bows. Um, I did this one yesterday. It's not completely done. It's not all completely fluffed the way it should be. Let's see if I can give you a better view of it here. Um, but I've been following Arlen's instructions for making a funky bow. And if you're not familiar with that, I'm going to link uh, in my description box to her channel. So you can check that out. I'm not going to go through, you know, the whole thing like she does. She's very thorough in her directions. Um, but I, it had been mentioned on one of her, I think on one of her live videos where we were chatting, that some people were asking, like, what if you have arthritis or, you know, you have some problem with your hands? Is there a way that you can make one of these bows to make it a little bit easier? And I think I have come up with something. So I just wanted to kind of share that with you. So this is one of the bows that I worked on yesterday. I've got another one that is in progress here. Um, now this one that I made, it's a 16 loop bow and my ribbon pieces were 21 and a half inches. And the reason I used that length was because I'm using rolls of ribbon that came from Dollar Tree. And on the Dollar Tree rolls, you get nine feet of ribbon. And so what I did with those is I just cut the roll of ribbon into five equal pieces, which ended up being 21 and a half inches. So for this ribbon, or for this bow that I'm making, I'm using the same ribbons, but I'm making a 12 loop bow. So the bow is gonna be a little bit smaller, but the tails are actually going to be longer. And, um, I have a reason for that <laughs> because of the project that I'm going to be using this on. So these pieces of ribbon are actually 27 inches. Now, in case you don't know, when Arlen makes her bows, what she does is she takes the ribbon and folds it in half like this. So there's your folded end, there's your cut end, and then she gathers it at the point where you want your loop to be. Um, for mine, I am doing actually four inch loops. I don't have my measuring tape in front of me right here, but I'm just kind of showing you. So what she does is she gathers it like this. She would twist the tail so that they're facing the same direction. I'm just kind of doing this quickly to show you my method. And then, hmm, okay. And then you would put this loop in your hand like that between your thumb and your hand and hold that in place and then you would add the next loop and so on and you would get a series of loops and so then there are the tails I'm trying to get this as far away as I can so you can see it better and then what she does is she'll do a series this way and then she'll flip her loops and have the next series have the loop on this end and the tail on that end and all the time she's holding all of those loops in her hand like this and I tried to do that and I couldn't because I actually had surgery on my left arm uh, twice over the last couple of years. And ever since I had that surgery done, I get really bad cramps in my left hand if I do too much with that hand. So I have to be really cautious. And so when I started working on that bow, it just, it, it was not working for me. I couldn't do it. So um, I'm going to show you the method that I came up with. I've got to go grab some other supplies and I'll be right back. Okay. Now, also when Arlen makes her bows, when she gets all of her loops together and she's ready to assemble the bow, she uses a pipe cleaner and puts that around the center of the bow and twists it on the back. And that's what holds her bow together. Um, I did not have any pipe cleaners. And I also thought for the method that I'm using, I thought that using pipe cleaners would make the bow maybe too bulky. It might work, 
but I just didn't have any. So I was trying to come up with a better solution. And the solution I came up with was to use this, which is curling ribbon. You know, the ribbon you use on gifts and you run your scissors down it and it curls up. Like I said, that's what I had. So that's what I used and I feel like it worked really well. Um, I think it also would work really well if you used like a fishing line type of material. Um, for myself, I am legally blind and something like a fishing line is just going to be really difficult for me to see. So that's the reason I decided not to use that. So I'm going to show you real quick how I'm putting this bow together, how I'm kind of modifying it, and hopefully it'll help It'll help somebody else <laughs> that is having the same struggle. So I've got one of my pieces of ribbon. I've got it folded in half. Here is the fold. And then this piece of tape is just to show me how big I'm wanting my loops to be. I said I wanted these loops to be four inches. So I just cut a piece of tape that was four inches and that gives me my mark. So I'm going to pinch that where I want my loop to be. And then I'm just gonna kind of hold that between my two fingers. Instead of putting it all the way back here by the base of my thumb, I'm just gonna pinch it like this. Then my next piece of ribbon is gonna be this burlap. I'm gonna line that up and get my four inch mark. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna bunch that up and pinch it in my fingers. And right now I've got my middle finger kind of behind here, just helping helping me pinch that. So I'm holding it between my index finger, my middle finger, and my thumb. And that, that way they're not gonna come apart. And then my third piece is gonna be this one. I'm sorry that you can't see this very well. My setup is not good. Um, but there is my last ribbon. Line that up and get my mark and add that into my little bundle. So now this is my bundle and where is my ribbon? I had a little piece of ribbon cut and I lost it. So I'm going to use this one. So then what I'm going to do is take this bundle. I'm going to pinch it together as tightly as I can. I hope you can see that. And I'm kind of just like straightening it all out so that everything's lined up really nice and pinched very tightly. And then I'm gonna take this ribbon and tie it. And yes, it's a little tricky <laughs> to get this all done with just two hands. If you had another person around that could help you tie this, that would probably be helpful, but it is possible to do it because I've been, I've been doing it now. So. so I'm gonna pull it really tightly and then I'm gonna do a second knot just to make sure that it's super, super tight. And then I'm gonna trim off those extra ends. Um, okay, now what I have, because like I said, I'm doing a 12 loop bow. So what I've done is I've made bundles of three of all these ribbons that I'm using. And then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna assemble these bundles. I've got all the other ones made up. So I've got four bundles here. I'm gonna assemble them and then tie it all together in the center. And once we do that, you will see how this is gonna turn into a bow. So I'm gonna start with, and I'm trying to line these up so that I don't have, you know, like one ribbon too close to the other one kind of thing. So let's see, I've got that one. I'm gonna put one of these as the next. And see, I'm alternating. So here are the loops. When I put this one down, here are the loops. So I'm just alternating and I'm turning these because you can see if I put this one here, these two burlap ones are gonna be right next to each other. So I can just flip it over to the other side and make sure that that's alternated and now this is going to go on this side and you can see here I've got the leaf ribbon and the chevron so I've made sure to alternate those 
And then all I need to do is take one more piece of ribbon. I'll set this back down so you can see. I've got these all stacked up. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm just gonna pull this as tightly as I can. <laughs> I just messed that up. I'm gonna squish these all down together. And then I'm gonna pull that ribbon really, really tight. And I can feel it kind of pulling apart, so I'm gonna to try to hold it tight while I do the second knot. I hope I made this clear enough that you can understand what I'm doing. So then make a second knot and pull that tight. Now on this one, I'm gonna leave these ends because those could be the ends that I use to either add another piece of ribbon later, or I could just use those ends as what I'm gonna um, tie to whatever item I'm using. Now I'm gonna come around the side here and I'm going to show you just how you're just going to start fluffing these up. Now, it, like I said, when you get to this point and you get it all tied together, it looks kind of sad. <laughs> it doesn't look very pretty. But now you've got to start fluffing all your loops. You've got to start pulling those out and pull the tails over to the side. Just move your tails around out of the way and pull your loops up. Make sure you've got all the loops pulled through so those can be seen. Um, now it, it may be possible that when I get done with this bow I might not want the ends this long, but what I'm envisioning for the project that I'm working on is I think that I do want the long ends, but this way it gives me an option you know, I think I want the long ends, but if I decide I don't, I can just trim them off. So I figured that would be the easiest way to do it. <laughs> so again, just keep pulling all those loops, pulling all the loops. Make sure you get all the loops. You should have 12 because this is a 12 loop bow. So I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I am missing a loop. Ah, and here it is, tucked behind these ones. Okay. So, there is my bow. Um, I'm not going to do much more with it at this point. Because I kind of have to wait until, like I said, until I'm actually working on the project that I'm going to be working on. Before I can really get everything done. But I just wanted to give you kind of an idea of the process that I used. And like I said, hopefully that would, that would help you if you're having that trouble with your hands. You know, similar to what I had. That's just one, that's one way that you could try to do it. To make it a little easier anyway <laughs> when you're trying to do one of these bows. So like I said, there is the 12 loop bow. There is the 16 loop bow. And you will be seeing these in upcoming projects here in the next month, two months, during August and September. So thanks for watching today, guys. And if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.